Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of Cindy's Home Kitchen. I'm Cindy. Hey. And behind the phone is my son Michael. Michael, say hi to everyone. Hey everyone. And today guys, we're here and we're going to be making a Dominican Shepherd's Pie, okay? Now, I got everything ready for you guys so I don't have to, be, you know, these are like the steps to take. You put, take a pot of water. What I like to do is I chop garlic, like real garlic, and dice it very, very tiny, and I put it inside the water, and I season the water with salt, and I also put a little bit of olive oil, so why if the potatoes are boning there and there, they're nice and moisture. They don't come out all dry. That is the difference between it because they taste better now. When you're gonna put the potatoes in, if you don't have one of these, it has holes, I drain them here. You can just put the whole thing inside like this and lower it slowly and drop the potatoes in like that. Now, if you don't have one of these, you gotta put them by hand, just take the potato, put it like close to here on the side of the pot inside and then let it go down slowly. That's the whole way of doing it. So now that we put that, I am going to put the fire on high because I want these potatoes to blow. And I'm gonna semi-close it just like that because that's gonna be boiling really fast and on high. So I'm gonna boil them like for 20 minutes. 20 minutes after they start boiling, after it starts boiling, it's like 15, maybe 20 minutes, okay? And then here in this other pan, I put two and a half pounds of ground beef. Now what you see here, is a jalapeno that I got, that green thing, jalapeno, and I dice it very tiny. And then I also took four garlic cloves from a, a, a larger um, garlic head and chopped it the same way I chopped the jalapeno. And then the green little leaves that you see there, that's oregano that I put there. And the other powder that you see next to it, that's onion powder. Okay, so that's all the only ingredient. This is where they are. See? Uh, oh, and also, did I put? No, I haven't put it in yet. I'm gonna be using crushed red potato in there a little bit, but I'm gonna. Crushed red potato? Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, crushed red pepper. Yeah. I didn't put it in there. Sorry, guys, and I apologize for that. I put it in the tomato sauce. Since I didn't have tomato sauce, so this is tomato paste. You see inside, as you can see. So, this is how it is. So, I, I poured two spoons like this full. And I pour it in the bowl, and then I add uh, a quarter cup, uh, no, half a cup of water, okay? And then I pour some paper flakes. You can put paper flakes according to what you like. I just put a little bit, not a lot, because I already put a jalapeno here. And this is my uh, my pan. I grease it with butter. All you do, you can take a stick and just hold it like this and with this you go and you rub it up until it's all thin. This is salted butter because it is potatoes and I only put a little bit there but not enough so it can be nice and seasoned. So the first step to this is just turn your meat on and now what you are going to do is uh, every 15-20 minutes you're going to move it and 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 you're going to move it. And before I forget, oh, I did already. I did put uh, two tablespoons of olive oil, so you can see it down there. I already put two tablespoons, so you wanna put that there on the list, okay, guys? So I'm gonna let everybody go, and I'm gonna keep on moving this. And when it starts like browning, we're gonna come back so you guys can see it. So when this is done completely and it's nice and brown, we're gonna pour the tomato the tomato uh, paste that I diluted with tomato sauce with the red pepper flakes inside there to give it flavor. But uh, just stay tuned, don't go away, and go ahead and uh, like and subscribe to the channel and also press the notification button. And we will be like uh, letting you know every step that we take here until we're done with it. I also have the oven on ready to go. So uh, don't go away, I love you all and stay tuned, we'll be right back. Okay, guys, so we're back. Here we are, Michael. And uh, this is your meat. So right before you guys, we went live now again. I added a little bit of onion powder and a little bit of garlic uh, powder also and a little bit of salt because I tasted the meat. So you do that and you taste it. And uh, if you think that I need something else, just add it up before you put your tomato sauce with some red pepper flakes. So, hold on a second. Because we need this to be... 
Oh, you don't add it all? I'm gonna put it, well, let's see how much. It cannot be, you know what I'm saying? My run or anything. Okay, guys, what I'm gonna do, I have one more thing left. I'm gonna add it up here to the tomato sauce, okay? The paste. And uh, cause I need that a little bit thicker. You see what I'm saying? Paste, tomato paste is nothing but tomato sauce. Tomato sauce is nothing but crushed tomatoes made into sauce. So, here we are. Now I got also, you see this? Sazon Goya. I like to use it. It's a seasoning that has everything. But uh, actually, it also has like that nice coloring. I'm going to add up one in there. And the other one, I'm going to come over here with my meat is still, you know, browning. Because I like to brown it a little bit. But it's not going to be dry. See, to give it that natural color. Wow, that smell is unbelievable. You see? Look at what little package does. And you know there's no oil, as you can see in my hand. There's no oil or anything. That's gonna go in between. Hey, Michael. Oh yeah. So this has to be. See how thick it is? Just like this, and pour it all over. And we're gonna let it reduce again. Okay. Because when you are eating your potatoes, when you go in and you uh, go with your fork and with your knife and you cut through, you need a little bit of that sauce so it can, the sauce can go with the mashed potatoes that I'm making, which is here, Michael, you can go. Then here's the potatoes. And the potatoes should be done soon, like in another two or three minutes. So we're going to get back to that right after this, okay? So here we are, Michael. Now what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to say... Let me pour it all over the place because I'm trying to reduce it just a little bit so it's not running on the potatoes. You know what I'm saying, right, Michael? So let me get a little spoon. Taste because you have to taste, you know. Every time you cook, you got to taste because you don't know how your food is going to come out. Sometimes we forget to add something on our food. Uh, so far, I have, and I don't know if I uh, did tell you guys that I used also a little bit of vinegar with it, right, for the sauce, okay? Because you know that we use the vinegar to break the thing. Hold on. Here it is. The legend. Now what are you going to put? A little bit of ketchup. Why? If the ketchup contains sugar, then that will like uh, add up the salt with the sweet. So you mix it and it brings out all the flavors of everything that we have put in there. like for 10 minutes for five minutes and then after five minutes i'm just going to put it to the side because we got to do the potatoes here are the potatoes michael what i need to do is get one of these a cauliflower okay and i'm going to so i can pull like one potato out to see give me a fork michael from over there to see how they are if they're done because we're going to be mashing them no nope, they're still they're still hard so they gotta go back in probably for a couple of more minutes at least, just like the meat over here. So we're gonna come right back. So uh, as soon as this is done and it resides, you see, like the grease a little bit, it dries out more a little bit. We're gonna turn it off. Then we're gonna take, we're gonna come back and you guys gonna see me taking the potatoes out of there, draining them and mashing them, okay? So we're gonna be right back. Go ahead and subscribe and don't go away. Thanks for watching. Fun. Okay, guys, we're back. So this is our meat. Let me just turn it off completely. Ooh. I was just, exactly, I was just going around like this. So all that oil that is there, you know, we're gonna leave it because it's gonna be, I'm gonna mix it again, and then I'm gonna be pouring it in this pan here. We'll put a layer of mashed potato first, then the meat, then more mashed potato, and then I have some Mexican cheese in the fridge, the one that is yellow and white. Mexican blend. Mozzarella and cheddar, exactly. And we'll put it on the top, put it in the oven, blah, blah, blah. So here we go, the potatoes are done. Okay. Ooh. I made sure that I made enough potatoes. You gotta move, buddy. If you don't have mittens, get yourself a pair of mittens because they're very cheap. And as you can see, I have my pot in the back. 
because I have my puppies, they like to be around, so I try not to cook in the front, and when I do, I'm always here, because I'm left-handed, so I, I usually use this uh, burner, so I'm usually here on this side, and I don't move from here until whatever I'm cooking is done. Okay, so let's take the potato. Like I said, we were, I already put my thing there for my potatoes. Be careful. Michael, you gotta move back. You're gonna splash, move back. I'm good, Mom. Yeah, buddy. You move back a little bit. This is called being a cameraman. Okay. You know that, right? And here are my potatoes. Ooh. Now we're gonna take them immediately. Okay, we don't have to dry them completely. And we're gonna put it here. You see how they are? Look at that. They're already breaking and apart. It's how soft they are. Mm -hmm. And then, oh. Did I put that powder? What did I put that powder? Okay, let me get my butter. Sorry about that. Ta-da, we're gonna put a whole stick of butter in there. Then I gotta put milk. So I don't have regular milk. I have powder regular milk, so I'm gonna make a little bit of milk, at like a, a quarter cup, and we're gonna put it in here. So meanwhile, what that melts for itself there for a little bit while I go get the, um, the milk and make it, um, we'll be right back, okay? So don't go away, we'll be right back. I'm gonna go uh, get some powder milk. I'll have Michael record me putting the powder milk with the water and then we're gonna put it in there. We'll be right back, don't go away. Um, okay guys, so we're back. I was looking for my powder regular milk that I have, but I think I ran out and I forgot to write it down on my list. So we're gonna be using some almond milk. You can use oat milk, almond milk, any milk that you want, as long as it's not sweet. You cannot be using carnation milk on this because carnation tends to be like a little bit sweet. Carnation milk is like for, for making hot cocoa, if you're going to make cupcakes, you know what I'm saying? Uh, even uh, pancakes also, it gets another, uh, that sweet taste of like breakfast for, you know what I'm saying? Or dessert. Yeah, stuff like that. So I already have that stick of butter there. So I'm gonna, let's take this Michael. And this is plant-based milk. Almond, oat milk, right Michael? Right. Soy milk. I didn't measure or anything, because I just eye it. I have enough potatoes here, you know, to uh, suck in the milk that I'm pouring. Well, see? And uh, the potatoes were, um, were uh, seasoned because I seasoned them with salt and put olive oil in my water, you know, because it does, you know, it does help a lot. Now, we need to make these potatoes to come out very nice, seasoned also, and nice and soft. I don't like having, um, what do you call it? Those little lumpy pieces. So when you boil your potato all the way, you really, even like this, you can, Mmm. You can even taste it. And it doesn't even taste, uh, feels like my um, What do you call it? Let me put a little bit more of this. Like we put almond milk in here, you see? It really does it, see? Oh, you're recording on top of my uh, Well, yeah, because your, your arm is, elbow. is elbowing my uh, phone. Because oh, I'm left-handed, you know? Well, use that right hand. I know. I just want to mash them a little bit more. So we're going to be right back. When we come back, we're going to be over there on the other side of the kitchen with the potatoes and the ground beef ready to stack it on top of another. All I got to do, I'm going to take the cheese out. So when we come back, I'll just have it ready, okay? We'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, and uh, we're back here. Hold on a second. This is very good. That's apple. That's... The apple, apple cider. The apple cider is really good. Actually, better than um, the apple juice itself. You know, That's right. That's a better taste. Okay, so here we are. Mashed potatoes. We're gonna put the first round. I, I think I know I made enough potatoes to. Uh, you sure did. You know, right? To to a top. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what I'm gonna do this? What I do? I take a fork. And you have to fill the whole pan. Okay. You wanna fill the whole pan, okay? The potatoes. There you go. And 
right? That's right. Done. All fancy. Oh well, yeah, I want to make it right. Pretty presentable. Before, of course. Oh, I tasted that meat. Now you see, that's the grease that went down. So we're going to take it from the top. Because then we're going to they're going to put a little uh, um, grease in here. So when you open and you cut through the potatoes. But you want to have a little bit of a, because that's olive oil, remember guys? And then this meat really didn't have that much fat. Right, Michael? This was a, like a, a steak um, brown I think beef. it was 92.8? Yeah. Was it 92.8? Oh, I don't know. Or 85, I think it's 85.15, No, guys. this is not a 85.15 because it really didn't, uh, you know, that's olive oil that I added up on it. It really didn't release that much. That's why I put it on, you know? Sirloin really doesn't have that much fat. Am I right or not? Right. I'll put a little bit more meat. I'm gonna leave Junior a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So he cannot. But I just want to put it down. And there's enough. Right, to have a good, bit. nice layer of meat. Not yeah. thick, not thin, but just right. Yeah. Let's see. That's right. No. Take the fork. I think that's enough meat, right? Perfect. I'm going to leave that one and give it to you here. Okay. Okay, now we're going to take the potatoes. We're going to be making more layers. I want to like make sure that I have enough potato. I think I did. Right? Yeah, more than enough. Okay, a little thing. I'm going to take some of that mashed potato for me. That's my grandson. He's gonna be a year old, guys, on Sunday. And he knows so much. You don't know how much you love your grandkid, not until you have one. Because my daughter uh, and the kids, she asked me, Mom, who do you love the most? You know how kids are. And I'm like, right now, the baby. But the baby's not your son, that's your grandson. The baby. That's right, I'm like, okay. Now we're gonna do the same thing here. So anyways, I gotta start his potatoes for the baby. I'm gonna feed it to him. He loves it when Mimi feeds it. That's what I want him to call me. Mimi, you know? I don't want him to call me grandma because I still feel young, you know? I'm very <laughs> young at heart, right, Michael? Yeah. Very, I love to dance. Just gonna put it out there. Love music listen to music all day i usually wear my headphones because uh, everybody is busy you know my husband works online my other son works for him and then me and michael do our own thing and it's online all day right mike oh yeah look i think i'm gonna put see yeah there you go i need this again i need this uh cover all the way over there Man, that's just your arm. Huh? She'll probably film you from over here, but... <laughs> Ginger, you're not getting none. Oh, that's why I have uh, this. I just went like this with my hands. And I put it up. And now we're going to put the cheese on top. Mmm, look at that. And we're going to put it in the oven until the cheese is nice and melted and brown. Then it comes up. So I say like 10, 15 minutes, but I'm gonna put, uh, I think I'm gonna put, the, I'm gonna put 20 minutes on four. You gotta put enough cheese, mom. Yeah, you can't skimp much, out, Michael. yeah, you can't skimp out on the cheese. Yeah, but I mean, thank God it's in the top that if you don't like cheese, you can just, uh. Peel it off. Yeah, break it out with a fork, you know, yeah. very delicately while it's hot. You can take it right off. You don't wanna wait until it's cold. Cause it kinda like gets stuck to your potato. You don't wanna do that, is that good? Yeah, make sure you get those corners too. <laughs> right there, you miss, you miss a spot. <laughs> yeah, but it wouldn't want it to overflow. You know? I love cheese, guys. I don't yeah, know about you. Let's go like but... this around it. Okay. You don't want... Okay. You don't want none of those little pieces that are hanging oh, outside. Look at that spot right there. 
Where? You opened up right there, right there. This? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I don't want to put any more on it. What do you mean? Go. You got to cover it. It's going to yeah, burn. But, yeah, but I don't want it to, if it falls in the oven. No, no, there you go. You got it. You got it. No, go open the oven for your mother. Wow. It's gonna be really good. What's up, Ginger? You want food? You hungry? You hungry, Teddy? I'm gonna put it right here on the top. On oh. 400. It's already. Oh, it's nice and warm. I've been freezing today. My uh, my hands been like ice cold. Okay, hold on a second. Oh. So we're gonna put timer 20 minutes. Two zero zero zero, and timer. If it's less, we'll come back. You know, because I'm gonna be keeping an eye on, on it. You don't want to. You don't want to uh, open the oven while you're uh, while it's in there because then it kind of like passes the food, you know. Okay, guys. So um, I'm, we're gonna let you go when we come back. That potato pie is gonna be done. So I'm gonna let everybody go. Go ahead and subscribe and like the video. Hit the notification I'll button. See you, uh, oh, and, and press the notification button also, like yes. Michael said. So I'll see you uh, like in uh, 20 minutes. Thanks for watching. Okay, guys, we still have two minutes and 38 seconds. So what I was talking about later, that you made the things by eye. So if you keep an eye and you turn your thing, wow. you see where the cheese is? So it's ready to come out. So I'm going to pull the rack towards me. And because I have my... Uh, Look at that. My big... Yeah, there's beautiful, oh, right? Delicious. So I'm going to put it there. And when it gets cool, we'll cut it. So we'll be right back. Go ahead and like and subscribe while you wait. And I'll see you soon. I'm okay, guys, we're back. And the pie, uh, the Dominican Shepherd's pie has been resting like maybe five minutes. We didn't let it rest that much. It was Michael, 10. Michael wanted uh, a piece of this. He's hungry. Uh, I think I went so deep that I kind of like carved a little hole on the thing. But it's okay because there's no liquid in this. Okay? I'm just trying to cut it even before I pull it out. And yep. This is gonna come out real pretty. So I'm gonna put the plate here. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna I went in and then I'm going to start like sliding it in. You see to take everything out. Oh uh, let's see if it does the cheese pull. Perfect. Okay, that Michael. And I'm just gonna put that little piece there like that. Because I'm gonna go ahead and try it so everybody can see it. Wow. Go ahead, Mike. And that's a potato. Dominican checkers pie guys. Wow. That's really, really good. I just wanted you guys to see it. So anyway guys, besides uh, YouTube, we're also on Instagram and TikTok and on Pinterest. And also, guys, if you want to donate a dollar, you can just scroll down to Patreon.com and I donate that one dollar. You guys know that we use that money go towards the grocery money to buy more food, to make more videos, so you can uh, put them on from my house to yours. And also, I want to put out there also that our videos, they're been going out at 6 o'clock Central Time and for the videos. And then the shorts, it's a short at 5 o'clock Central Time, and then there's another one after the video at seven o'clock central time so anyway guys with that i'm gonna let everybody go don't forget to subscribe and also press the notification button so with that i'm gonna say uh see you guys tomorrow with another episode of city's home kitchen and always remember guys what i always say don't drink and drive hold on a second and let me hold on my book don't cut that i want to taste that in front of everybody sorry guys mm. 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 So hot. Let me give you Michael a little bit here. Hold on. So Michael can try it too. Now I'm gonna let mm. you guys go. Thanks for watching guys. Delicious.